Hey everybody, welcome back to Messy Vegan Baker. I'm Christina, and today it's snowing. We are going to be making a cookie that is very popular. Um, I definitely think this is one of the like top 10 cookies you see at Christmas time. So today we're going to be making vegan peanut butter blossoms. Um, Okay, sorry editing me. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, so peanut butter blossoms. It is from Mark Pittman's How to Bake Everything. Shocker. Oh yeah, there are a few things I will tell you. So he has a vegan version that I didn't want to follow exactly because I don't know. I just didn't want to. However, he does have a very cool idea where instead of doing the eggs, you just substitute it for a fourth cup of peanut butter. So I did decide to do that because that's just really cool and I wanted the extra peanut butter flavor. Yeah, and then I just did everything else according to it. Uh, what? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry, there's a lot happening in my head right now. Without further ado, let's get baking. First of all, I thought about trying to make a vegan Hershey's Kiss somehow, like making milk chocolate, vegan milk chocolate, and then piping it on, but that seemed like a lot of effort. So instead I just bought um, the Justin's dark chocolate, Justin's, Justine's, Justine's, uh, dark chocolate peanut butter cups because they're vegan. And honestly, I think peanut butter cups are better on these anyways because Otherwise, it's just like too much chocolate in my opinion. So that's what we're doing. So as always, if you're using vegan butter, you um, take it out ahead of time so it can get softened. We're doing one stick of that, or I decided to go with coconut oil, mostly because I'm almost out of vegan butter. <laughs> just make sure it's softened slash room temperature if you're doing vegan butter or coconut oil. And then um, if you want to, you can just replace the two eggs with a vegan egg replacer, um, or you can do the fourth cup of peanut butter. What you're gonna do is put the butter or coconut oil. I'm just gonna say coconut oil for this, just cause that's what I used, but just know it can also be the other one. Put your coconut oil in the mixer. I would start to mix it around just to get it a little bit fluffier, and then put in the brown sugar and the granulated sugar, and mix that until creamy and well combined. Then you're going to add the vanilla, and the peanut butter slash eggs. So I did one and a fourth cup of peanut butter instead of just one cup, or you can just do the one cup, whatever. Uh, then you're just gonna mix that until those are nicely incorporated. And then you're gonna add in the flour, baking soda, and salt. And you're just gonna mix those until just combined and then you're gonna put them in a bowl, cover them with plastic wrap, put them in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. If any of this sounds redundant, it's because cookies are typically made the same. Once it's been in the fridge, then you're gonna take it out. You're gonna put some granulated sugar in a bowl. I don't know, I think I did like a third of a cup, a half a cup of sugar. And then you just scoop them out table size into tablespoon sized balls. And you're gonna put them in the sugar, dunk them in the sugar, put them on an ungreased baking sheet, and then you guys can stick them in the freezer for like 10 minutes and then put them in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for eight to 10 minutes-ish. I think mine went a little bit longer, but yeah, or until the bottoms are just kind of golden brown. Here's something that I guess I did wrong and I really should have baked a batch to see what would have happened, but I panicked because the dough was super soft and very wet. And in my personal experience, every time that happens, it's because when the ratios are off. So I ended up adding like, I think about a third-ish cup extra flour. And I guess that was the wrong thing to do. So I'll just put in the regular recipe and then you guys can see if it spreads too much, then you can add more flour. I haven't made these in forever, but I thought you were supposed to put the kisses on right when they came out of the oven, but um, I guess not, because I don't know if you can see this, but they um, melted, <laughs> which really I think will be nice, because you won't have to awkwardly try to get your mouth over everything. It'll just be like a nice cookie. So I mean, I'm not mad about that. I just, I clearly didn't know what I was doing. What's new? Well, these cookies did not stick together very well, and I'm guessing it's because I added too much 
flower, so that's kind of annoying. But here we are. <laughs> I am very annoyed. I, I'm trying really hard not to remake them, even though I could just make a half batch and at least have like some cookies that are decent. I'll try one. These ones are darker. I definitely baked these ones longer. That makes me wonder, it must have been the flour. I think it was, but you know. Excellent on the peanut butter flavor, but way too dry. If I do end up fixing it, I'll let you know. I'll probably insert text here or something. It's a bummer that I put so many of the Reese's cups on here already. <laughs> I will have this recipe in my blog, which I will leave a link to down below in the description box. If you're new here, hello, welcome. Hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, you can hit that like button and subscribe button. It would really help me out. And if you are old slash a regular to this channel, hello, welcome back. Thank you for watching again. I really appreciate it. You guys are really fun. And I love getting to talk to you guys in the comments. So uh, don't forget to hit that like button. I also have all of my social media handles down below. I think they are links to everything. They should be. But yeah, so you guys should go check that out. I hope you learned something and over entertained, and I will see all of you lovely humans next time. <laughs> I got it right. Oh, we're recording. Oh. <laughs> Boo, whoa, hold on. I forgot. That was not smooth at all. <laughs> da 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 song is that? Ugh, why do I make this complicated for myself? So, I hope you learn- A hoop-a-doop-a-doop. Ba-doop-a-doop-a-doop. Oh no. <laughs>